Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we'll be learning how to create a 2D platformer game and we'll be adding the jump mechanics into this particular game that we are creating. So right now, uh, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to write a script for our character. So we'll have a character 2D, so we'll be making it to be able to move and also to be able to jump. So right now, right click and attach a script. I have already added my orchestrator um, add-on here. So I will just go in and put my 2D underscore player and make sure it's in orchestrator and I'm going to create that. So right here now I have uh, this and I can just simply open this up. So I will need two variables. So the variables will be first one will be my gravity and I would like to make my gravity to be an int and make it about 150 and export it. Now this depends on the size of your sprites or your player so you could actually change this to whatever value that suits you. I will create a new variable and this variable will be um, jump speed. And jump speed will also be an int and I will make this to be a 130 and make sure you actually export both of them so you export okay so right now uh, we'll just go ahead to close this part up and I'll get my physics process And when I get a freeze process, the first thing I want to be able to get is my sequence. So the sequence enables me to be able to run um, various things. So I can be able to create the control for the movement, forward and backwards, and then also the jump. So first, let's go for the movement. So right here, I'm going to drag this out and put a branch. And in this branch, I'm just going to add an action input action and this input action will go into this place and I will tell this to go with the right and then I'll right click and get my translate and put that there so my translate I'm going to be using um, I'm working on the x-axis because it's a horizontal value so I'll go for three for now and I will go in and right click and put move and slide. So this will enable you to be able to collide with an object. If you don't put this, it's it's even though you translate, it will pass through uh, other um, rigid bodies or other static bodies, it will pass through them. But if you put this move and slide, it will collide with them and it will stop moving. So this is for the right movement. So I will just quickly um, Hold my control, select these three and also this one and control D to duplicate it. And I'll connect this here and quickly select this and change this to the left and change this to negative. So um, if we actually test this game, we'll actually see that uh, it should be able to move forward and backwards. So we'll have this move forward and backwards so it can do that. So right now there is no gravity, so we need to actually get the gravity right now. So to get a gravity, um, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to bring these things down. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, just click on the plus sign there. And the first thing I want to do is to tell it um, I'm going to use a branch. And I will tell it whenever it's on the floor, there are things I want it to do. So when it's on the floor, I need to do some things. So first, let's do the gravity. So the gravity will be when it's false. That means when it's not on the floor, that's when we want the gravity to begin to work. But if it's on the floor, then we don't want the gravity to keep on working. 
that's a very important thing. So I will uh, drag this out and um, I'm going to use um, translate. Okay, just right click out here and that should be better. Translate. Call translate. So, oh, I need it to be going down. So I'm going to just drop this here. So, uh, but the value of this uh, movement is going to be um, a bit unique. So I'm going to drag this value, the gravity that we calculated. We'll drag it out and uh, get the value. So when I get this value, I will need this uh, delta here. So first, I'm going to drag this and I'll write uh, multiply. And I'm going to select that of the int. So because this value is also an integer, so I'm going to just put this here and put that one down here. And then I'm going to also drag this out and I'm going to type vector. So you look for vector multiply to, um, uh, rather use multiply. Type multiply and go to vector two, okay? The other one uh, will not be able to go in here. So you can just drag this and it goes in there. So right now we want the value, what is the value here? So I'm going to, because this is, um, um, the the value for it falling. So uh, because of um, the way the design goes up, the negative sign actually goes up while the positive uh, goes down. So, but if it's in 3D, it doesn't happen like that. So it's only here that it does that. So I'm just going to come in here and this will be, I'm just going to multiply by two here. So this means that it's going to be falling down straight. So that's the idea there. So we'll have uh, this. Um, let's put this here and um, put and move and slide. Move and slide. Yep, that's it there. Sorry, this should be um, the false. That's a mistake. When it's not on the floor, this is what it should do. When it's on the floor, that's where we're going to put the jump. So I'm going to just push this down a bit like this. So we're going to, you know, put that for the. So just know that we made a mistake there. That should be false, and that should go in there. So just play it, and it should fall to the floor now. So it's actually here, so you can move forward and backward. So I think the speed of my uh, character is a bit small, so I'm going to just um, increase them to about uh, five. Let me just go for six. Six. Okay, so then for the jump right now, which is the interesting part, I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to put another branch. And this branch will take in an action, and that's action for the jump. So, and that will be the up arrow. So our up arrow will be here and we want it to also, we want to also take into consideration that whenever we press the up arrow, just um, to remind it, okay? So I'm going, going to right hand and put a boolean that when you press up and also that uh, is on the floor too. So it's on the floor. Okay, so sorry. Just right click here and type it's on floor. And then I'm just going to put this here and drag this and put this here. So right now, whenever the up arrow is pressed, it's going to be going up. So for the up right now, I'm just going to simply get these two guys, duplicate it, and just uh, here so this is a translate and then this move and slide so but also we're going to uh, decide you know change uh, the, the translate here so i'm going to get the jump speed and for the jump speed i'm going to um, get a vector so we'll have here yeah, i'm going to get a vector uh, multiply 2d and I'm going to connect this to this, okay? So just see how I did, I dragged it out from here and type vector. 
and get a, got a multiplier of it. So right now, I want to multiply it by minus 2 because I want it to be negative, okay? So it's going to be multiplying uh, with this integer, it's going to be multiplying this. So it's going to be giving a negative value, meaning that it's going to be going up. So if you right click now and play, uh, we should be able to go up whenever we play. So we can be able to go up and pick up our things. Have that there. and it's quite very smooth so um, that's basically how to be able to create that um, how to create a jump and we'll just have all this here and um, if you want to add other features you can be able to add maybe animation or you have animated sprites you can be able to add all those codes here so what is basically how to be able to create a very simple platformer um, where you can be able to collect this and collect that and collect that and you win your game. All right, so um, if you want to know how I did all this, you can put that in the comments and I'll show you how uh, every part of this game was created and you can be able to uh, create uh, an entire game using good old visual scripting only. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Please do not forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, Share this video with everyone that you think wants to learn how to create video games but doesn't know how to code. So this is a very uh, wonderful resource that could help to make that dream come true. Alright, put your questions in the comments and I will see you in the next video.